Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are here today to do another crazy stamping video. Now that the summer is coming up, it's getting warmer and warmer, I thought that more people would be in the sea. So what a better time to bring out my shark inspired stamping plate. So we've got a white gel polish here. We've got Guiding Angel from Adam Glam, which is a nice baby blue kind of shade. We've got a bunch of stamping polishes, pretty much all of them from Born Pretty. The stamping plate itself is from Moe London. Last year I had a different shark inspired plate, also from Moe London. So it was also inspired by Jaws, but it was more of like a scarier version. And this one's a bit more of a cuter version. So I thought, <laughs> let's make it a little tradition. We are coming up to summer, the sun's starting to shine, people are going to be out more, out in the lakes, in the sea, swimming and having a good time. So let's bring out the sharks and remind everybody to be safe out there. So I am going in with a base color of the blue so we're going to have three nails that are going to be fully blue fully that beautiful pale baby blue kind of shade and then the other two nails one is going to be fully white the other one will also be fully white but we are later on going to add some blue gel polish detailing to kind of mimic the sea and a little shark pooping out so we'll i will show you guys that in a second when we get to the stamping phase but real quick just quickly finishing off the gel polish base i will go ahead and do a second layer off camera and of course with our channel tradition we're also going to sprinkle on some glitter and make a sugar nail in today's set so i thought it through today and i decided to go with a blue of course to match up with the whole blue sea theme Oh, I love the blue glitter. It's actually chilling in the background. There we go. Here it is. So, of course, the gel polish isn't the perfect match to the glitter. Ideally, you would want to pick up a gel polish that is the closest to the glitter. But, of course, it's just design purposes. No one's wearing these nails today. And I can get away with it, basically. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. So, I'm just going to sprinkle them on to the wet gel polish. Just tap away any excess. And then feel free to pop them onto the lamp and cure that glitter in place. So, here we are. Time for our stamping. So I really, really liked how this plate has the whole word of Jaws actually on there. And since I was use using a nail that is a bit too short, I should have probably used my stiletto nails. But sometimes when I'm doing a full on full set of stamping nails, I kind of decide to pick up the smaller nails just to kind of you know usually the stamping plates are not made for long stiletto nails they're made for a bit more <laughs> wearable nails and um i often work on the stiletto nails so i have to make do so i thought recently you know i'll be using the shorter nails for stamping sometimes where possible just to kind of not only kind of show you what it would actually look like in reality i know not a lot of people will obviously be wearing long stiletto nails um, but also it makes it easier for me to actually design the nails because it's so much harder to actually design a full nail set on stiletto nails when you've got tiny little images. Here I was having the hardest time to pick up the word, the little J-A-W. So I had to do a couple of tries. But I thought I'll leave it in just to show you that I'm not perfect at stamping. <laughs> it still takes me a while to sometimes pick some things up and or things just don't pick up the way I wanted them to and all of that stuff. So um, since, like I said before, the nail is a bit too short, ideally I would have preferred to write the whole word jaws on there. But since we could only fit jaw, I thought that would, that would just do, that would just about do with what we're going for. So one nail was fully jaws. That's one nail done when it comes to stamping. We've got three more nails of stamping to do. So we're on our next full baby blue nail. So I'm using a darker shade of blue here. And I quite like this image that's supposed to be like a full cover image. It's got a little, the top of a shark sticking out of the water. So I wanted to do a full nail of that. We are going to also be matte top coating these nails later on, which I love doing with stamping. I really feel like it brings out the colors more and the whole image and the outline of everything just brings it out, makes it pop so much more. So we're going to do that later on. As you can see, this image was of course too short, just the typical, like I mentioned earlier, they're just too small, so you will have to double stamp. I still feel like these nails are not actually that much longer, like not that long, so the images are quite short, I have to say, um, when stamping. But yeah, that nail is all done as well, so I'm on to our third nail of stamping. I really like the lines. I'll give you a little tip when trying to stamp lines. Make sure you use a one of those cubed stampers. And also when you're scraping, scrape from a corner, for example, top left or top right, and you want to scrape it to the other corner, not straight down or not straight to the side. 
Um, that way you find that the gel polish, oh, sorry, not gel polish, stamping polish covers the lines a bit better. As you can see with my pickup, it's not still not perfect. There are some gaps and everything, but when I was stamping before and I was doing a different swipe, it was covering the lines way worse and it was just even, it was complete a complete mess. It was just not even, it was bad enough where you couldn't just, you know, close, her on, close an eye and pretend like it didn't happen. It was pretty bad. So this was something I figured out one day <laughs> and it seems to be working. So ever since then, whenever there's a very strong line or thick line in particular that I want straight, I make sure to do that technique. Next up, there's this super, super cute little shark there holding a little, sh um, what is it, a ship? Maybe like a boat. And as you can see, my pickup wasn't the most best there. The little little black dot that's sticking out is actually supposed to be a heart, but it didn't pick up the heart too well. Um, but I don't think I noticed until later on, so I just had to leave it. It doesn't look that bad, so it's fine. It, it, it will just about slide. <laughs> so now it's time to reverse stamps. So I'm going to color in the little boat. So I went in with a pink at the bottom, then the rest of that little boat is going to be this beautiful orange shade. Then the underneath of the shark is going to be white and the top part of the shark is going to be that, I guess you could say middle shade of blue. So we've got the lighter shade of blue in our gel polish, that's going to be our background. We have the darkest shade of blue that I use for those stripes and then we're going to colour this one in, in a middle shade of blue. <laughs> that makes any sense. This uh, stamping design you kind of need to have a couple of, well, a fair variety of colors and stamping polishes you can also use stamping gels as well if you wanted to it didn't have to be string strictly polishes i just kind of like poli this polish vibe i haven't actually personally used the stamping gels but i noticed not a lot of people really do they always seem to be sticking to the polishes themselves so maybe there's a reason for that maybe not i'm not sure maybe one day we'll figure it out and give it and put it to the test but I'm almost done with colouring my little image in. I like to leave it for a couple of minutes to chill sometimes just to let the little image dry. The, the, the whole stamping fragment has been very like fast forwarded. So don't think that I work that fast or <laughs> me waiting around is actually much longer than it seems on video. So I stamped it in the center of where we've done the stripes and then I quite like the little image that we have there, well not image, more like words, it says save the sharks. So I thought I can stamp save the at the top and then stamp the sharks at the bottom of our little shark that we've stamped down already. So I'm just going to repeat. I was using a different scraper today, I, was, I couldn't find my standard and this scraper was horrendous, don't get that one I have there, it was very annoying to use and a pain and it was just not good. It was like way too flimsy and everything, I do not recommend at all. So we're done with that one, whoop whoop, so we've got one more nail to do. I really 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 like the half shark image, I'm going to pick them in just a sec. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's just above the whole, the big jaws name there and it just looks so cool because it's got a little heart in the center so i've decided to reverse stamp that one as well so i'm just getting my polishes that i need i'm going to pick it up with a black so that's going to be our outline i wasn't too sure because it has that little center piece and i don't really know if i want it to be fully black if i want that to be like a dark blue shade but i'm quite happy in the end actually that it was black i had to restamp because of course i didn't pick that one up how i needed to Sometimes I use too little stamping polish and it won't pick up how I want it to. So you can use a lint remover to get rid of anything on your scraper that you don't need anymore. So now it's time to colour in again. So using a pink, any pink will do of course. Just, you don't have to have the exact same stamping polish as I use. And you just want to go ahead and colour in that little heart. Don't worry about being too precise. You can literally go over the line. As long as you're not going over the clear bits, you'll be just fine. Then you want to go in with a white for the teeth. Um, that bit can be a bit difficult. You could probably get away with doing the body first in the blue, then the teeth. And that way you could go over the blue bit with the white. Oh, I shaked that. <laughs> um, you could go over, just be messy with the white if you wanted to. But I just obviously had to make my life a little bit harder, just as usual. Then using that middle shade of blue again, just to colour in the rest of that body. Colour, colour, hat, colour. It's so therapeutic, guys. You really have to start trying some stamping. It's so nice. It's so, 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 so nice. I love it. 
love, love, love. If you wanted to pick up any of the products, I'll try and leave a link in the description. You can get the Bon Pretty polishes anywhere. Amazon, AliExpress, um, their, their site, literally wherever you shop for your nail products, you probably can find them there. And the stamping plate you can get from maybe London themselves. If you're in the UK, well, I think there's there are some kind of kind of like what are they called? Those sellers, distribution sellers that sell, I think that's what you call them. Uh, the plates as well. So I will have a link in the description for Mo you so you can save yourself some money. They often do amazing sales, literally two pound plates sometimes. So make sure you check out my link. I think it'll save you some either a percentage or a money. I usually forget <laughs> i often also forget to tell you i have these discount codes so make sure you always check out the, the the description almost forgot the name there we go so this is the bit that i was talking about at the beginning of the video where i'm gonna kind of try and mimic some sea underneath the shark so i'm just trying to outline where the shark is then coloring the bottom i will go ahead and do a second layer of camera of the blue as well and then because it was very very fiddly I did go ahead and go off camera and I added these lines that I picked up from the plate the reason it was fiddly was because I, I was kind of taking it out of a full image and I was kind of having to isolate a lot of the stuff on there and it was very difficult and it, it kind of had to have a fairly precise hand so you see in just a couple of seconds what I end up doing with this one but I'm so happy I did it really did kind of give that C effect there we go so those are the lines if you look back on the plate you'll probably see where i picked up those lines so now it's time to top coat these bad boys i'm going in with a matte top coat of course we want these to pop and i am also going to use some glitter bells unbelievable gels in a, just a second which is just a nail art gel and it will basically cure tack free on top of our matte background and therefore that will be shiny and the background will be matte and everything will stick out better i will also bring out some of my gl not glossy <laughs> i was gonna say glossy crystals we're going to bring out some of our blue crystals which i don't use too often and they're so pretty and i'll also make sure to have a link in the description for those because they are literally a must a must a must a must so if you heard um ambulance possibly or a police car going by <laughs> the sirens sorry about that so if you could hear it um okay so now it's time for our glitter bells i'm gonna wood gel so just do three dots and then using a very thin out brush where possible just do four lines sticking out just like a little star there and then you just want to scatch a couple of extra tiny little dots around just to cover it up just to give it a bit more extra something something going on there we go almost done a lot of twisting of the nail when doing this nail <laughs> when doing the lines for the stars almost there okay cool so we've done the three and now using a smaller dotting tool where possible i just literally scatter a couple of dots anything will do you can do some thicker ones some smaller ones whatever you feel like doing it also of course depend on how large your nail bed is that you're working on I just really like how it ended up looking in the end. I don't know if it quite fits in with everything that we're doing, but I just like the difference with the matte background and the shiny little stars on top and everything like that. So last nail that we need to work on is this shark and sea nail. So the corner on the left, we're going to just scatter, well not scatter, place a couple of crystals in that corner. Those beautiful blue crystals. I haven't been using those blue ones, but look how beautiful they are already, even when they're blood. <laughs> they're so pretty and so blue. I actually have quite a few different shades of blue. This is actually probably the most prettiest. I have some dark ones too, but I just don't use them too often, but I probably should because they're literally to die for and they should be shown off. I always seem to pick up either the clear or the AB crystals, always. It's just, it's just a go-to. I'm sure you all probably feel the same way. I will also add a couple of caviar beads in there too. There they are. Just to add an extra little detail. And then once you're happy, pop them into the lamp. If you end up placing too much rhinestone glue gel, you can also go in again with a matte top coat. Ideally, you place the crystals down first before the matte top coat. Sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing with crystals, so I'm at or glossy top coat first and then I figure out the crystal placement it will depend what's going on but ideally if you're doing it for a client of course do the crystals and then top coat will help maintain the crystals in place so that they don't fall and you yeah just prevent getting an upset client basically <laughs> um I'm just finishing up just moving those crystals about pop them into the lab and here are the final results so if you guys liked it it's a bit of a playful one if you like jaws, let me know in the comments below. Or if you just like sharks, let me know. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.